Hello, I'm Anna Mackay and this video is on graphs of circles, looking at the equation of a circle. Remembering what a circle is, how do we define that? Something that you're used to dealing with for years, but now we're looking at the equation of that line. So we have the circle, which is the outer perimeter, if you like. We have a center there in the middle, and we have the radius. So they're terms that you're probably used to dealing with. Thinking about other equations of functions that you're used to dealing with, we have straight lines, we have parabolas, and they are defined by the line. And it's a set of points which we have a rule connecting x and y. So what we're going to look at is the equation of the line of a circle, so its perimeter, and what that equation is connecting all of those points. So here, a circle is a set of points which are what from a fixed point. Thinking about all of those points, they are what? They are equidistant. You don't have to write this down, just getting your thinking going. Next, the fixed point is called the what? There in the middle, it's the center. And lastly here, the distance between the center and the circle is the radius. So it's the distance that we're after. That's actually uh, the part of the equation. It's the distance between the center and the radius all the way around. So working at the equation of the following circle, we can see our center is here at 2, 5, and P represents any point on that circle, and we'll represent that by X and Y. Have a think what the radius of this circle might be. Now, do you remember the distance between two points formula? Hmm, if you do, great, so it's the distance formula. Just a refresher, where does that come from? It actually comes from Pythagoras. So if we're asked after the distance between center C and the point P, and P is any point around that circle, how would we work that out? We are after the X step and the Y step, so the, the horizontal part between the two points and the vertical part, which here is our horizontal and here is our vertical part. So that's given by the distance formula here, where D for distance, X2 take X1, so in this case our X2 would be the P value and our X1 would be 2, part of the C value there, plus, oh, and all of that squared, plus y2 take y1 squared, and the square root of all that. So that was the Pythagoras formula, that if you wanted the equation, um, sorry, the length, the distance of that line between the two points, you work out the old a squared plus b squared equals the hypotenuse squared. And so that's where that comes from. So for our circle here, just having a think about this, our distance would be, um, we have x take 2. So we don't have to write that 2 in anymore because we've only got one x value. The other one has an actual number. And then y2 we'll represent as y. And our y1 value is that 5. So they come from the two coordinates at the center. Both of them squared and the square root equals the distance. Now what is that distance? It's the radius. You'll be able to see where it goes through the grid squares from down the side there or down to the bottom that you have a radius of three. And we can rearrange that so we don't have that square root. By squaring both sides, we would end up with three squared or nine. And that's the formula for the equation of a circle. So the equation of a circle, and that's called center radius form because within that form, the radius is the distance and the center is given by the two coordinates that are in those positions. So writing this one down, the equation of a circle with center a, b and radius r is this. x subtract the x, so a, which is the x coordinate of the center, plus all squared plus y subtract b, which is the y coordinate of the center, all squared equals the radius squared. Right, two examples. So using that equation, write down the equation 
of a circle with center four, negative one, and radius five. So what you do, you use the equation that you've got here. This will be written down neatly in a second. We've got x take away four, all squared, now an add here, y. Now the formula tells us subtract, but because it's a negative one, it becomes a plus there. And I've got to put my one in, squared equals the radius squared. So you write five squared, or you could write 25. So there it is written out neatly for you, or in the other version, either is fine. And the second one, center with negative two, three. So it becomes a plus because we're dealing with a negative two. Then it's a plus at that position. Y subtract three all squared equals, now this is a good habit to get into. Write, oh sorry, that's a seven. Write the square root of seven squared. So you get into the habit of writing that square. And then on the next line, you can simplify that. Here it is written out neatly. Uh, with the root seven squared and then simplified. Okay, that's the end of this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and the next video is equation of a circle but in expanded form. Thank you.